Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna pack for my surgery in Columbia. So I know I look really crazy right now. I just finished working out, so that's why I look like this. But I leave in, today's Tuesday? No, today's Monday. I leave in three days. I fly out to Cali, Columbia to get my plastic surgery. I still can't believe it, really. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a panic freak. Like, <laughs> I stuff my anxiety. So, for me to do this is like a big thing. But also, if I get something in my head that I want to do, nine times out of ten, I'm going to do it. So, today we're going to do um, a packing video. I got like a really big um, suitcase. And then I have like a small carry on. But I'm going to check that in as well. So, here is one of my suitcase. Here is the other one. Get down here to you see. On American Airlines, but um, so you get two free check bags. It's not free because you pay in first class, but you get two bags that you could check in on the flight. So um, I'm gonna go through my list of stuff that I have with you guys, and make sure you hit the notification bell and that um, subscription button because I'm going to be uploading hopefully a, blo a vlog of my surgery journey in Cali, Columbia. Um, I need y'all to pray, okay? I mean, if I upload this video, chances are I'm okay, but still, you know, just gotta make sure um, everything is a-okay, praise Jesus. So, I'm like, I'm like fake organized, right now I'm not, but like typically, I'm usually organized. So, I'm trying to organize all this stuff and figure not why not vlog it while I do it. So, um, you know, any flight, you gotta have your pillow, okay? Pretty good, like, no one's trying to be, like, uncomfortable on the flight. I mean, it's first class, I should be fine, but still. So, I got a bunch of masks. Um, I do have the vaccine, but I'm still not playing with people. Like, I'm still wearing my mask. Like, I try to wear my mask as much as I can. Even though I'm vaccinated, um, obviously. Sometimes I do, but so I got I've been had these actually these are nausea pills that I got from the pharmacy. I got Tylenol, cold and flu, God forbid, you know, anything happens. Um, I got some arnica gel. Um, this is for bruising and um any stiffness. I actually was trying to get another one. This one's really small, but this is what I got for now. I got some Benadryl because I heard after lipo. The itchiness is really crazy, so I wanted to be prepared for that. I got a picture of my daughter with me because I just got to be with her, you know what I'm saying? I got a washcloth. Um, everything that I'm bringing is about to be, I wouldn't say dingy, but just stuff that I don't really care about because if anything, you know, happens to my stuff, I don't want it to be brand new stuff or expensive stuff. Um, and Columbia right now is going through a lot, so I definitely don't want to be bringing anything flashy out there. Um, I got an eye mask for the flight um, so I can see peacefully on the way there. These are just some, some, you know, I got these from Shein. They're like $7. These are some basic, basic, like, pajama dresses. Um, I actually got them, like, one size large because I like sleeping in things that are bigger than what I am. And also, you know, with the swelling and everything that I'm, you know, Going, probably gonna go through. I want to make sure that um, I can fit the gowns that I'm wearing. So, like these, all the gowns I have, I have about three sleeping dresses and like three regular dresses. Once again, none of this stuff is like name brand or like um, nice stuff. This is all stuff that I got from like Shein or like just really cheap stuff that or stuff that I've had for years that I don't care if it gets like you know messed up or whatever because it's not a fashion show, it's surgery. So <laughs> I had to keep telling myself that. So I have about five regular dresses and then I have three sleeping dresses. I got compression socks. This was a big thing for me because um, I read a lot, you know, that you can get blood clots from being on a flight um, too soon, whether it's two weeks or a week, whatever. So I got like a bunch of compression socks. I got these from Amazon. Guys, let me know if you want me to link any of these products below because I could make like, I already have an Amazon list. I would just have to make it public um, in order for you guys to see it. But 
I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make this small um, carry-on bag my clothes bag and then like my clothes and my um i guess medicines and this would be like all the big stuff like my body pillow and stuff like that oh i actually got some washcloths so i probably don't even need the washcloth that i have bored honestly you can never have too many washcloths so i'm gonna go ahead and use these too because why not i got these from the dollar store so like i said everything is cheap that i got and I don't know what they're gonna have, so I'd rather overpack, you know, and not need the stuff than be there and, and need a bunch of stuff. So actually this my wash stuff is gonna go in my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put like, you know, the medicine and stuff in this bag. So I'm gonna organize my stuff as best as I can. Let me tell you guys can see it. Go Face masks are gonna go in here as well. Here's the nausea medication. Um, I also got some hemp gummies. I heard from a few dolls that these really help. Um, I have not been drinking. I have not been smoking or anything like that, you know, because that's what the doctor recommends. And I always like to follow, you know, what your surgeon recommends. My surgeon recommends that you don't smoke for three months. And um, I didn't. So really proud of myself. If you know me, that was a big step for me. But um, yeah, but I did get the hemp gummies. Hemp is not a drug. <laughs> all natural so it's okay to have and if you know me you know i always got some lysol wipes pre-pandemic i always had some clorox lysol wipes so um i also got some miralax because i heard that it's hard like it might be hard to take a shit and um or well, i shouldn't curse but it might be hard to go number two or whatever um and when i had my daughter i had a problem tmi doing that so i just want to be pre-prepared like um with all of this stuff so yeah i got some miralax just to make sure i also got some hydrogen peroxide as you guys know to clean any wounds or you know just make sure that nothing gets infected also got some alcohol a few reasons why i brought alcohol obviously to clean um my skin and everything where appropriate but also i heard that if you smell alcohol if you're about to faint like it wakes you up a little bit so packing that then I got some witch hazel. I love witch hazel. Like I use witch hazel pretty much for everything. Like I use it to, as a toner. I use it um, to like clean areas of my skin, you know, my underarms, under my boobs. Like I just really love witch hazel. So uh, I'm bringing witch hazel. I got some aloe vera because as you guys know, it's really good for your skin. And if my doctor allows me, I'm gonna be applying it um, on my skin. So that would be great. I also got a water bottle from the dollar store. Um, I just didn't have one in my house, otherwise I would use one I had. But this one was really good because like I said, it was a dollar and I know that I won't be able to get out of bed a lot. So um, having a water bottle would be really helpful. I also got some baby wipes. I felt like baby wipes, like even before I had my child, before I was a mom, like baby wipes is my thing. So I feel like baby wipes definitely could help you clean up um, after yourself. I'm bringing this as well. It's my laptop bag. I'm gonna be having um, my laptop in there along with like, you know, my personal things cause it's gonna remain on me at all times. I also got some Pedialyte because in case I'm dehydrated or I need some sort of, um, you know, something to help my body, electrolytes get back together. Um, I'm gonna be needing some Pedialyte and um yeah oh yeah so i should have started the video saying that i am getting essentially a mommy makeover so i'm getting a breast lift breast implant i know you probably look at my boobs right now like oh you don't need a breast lift yeah because i have a sports bra on like if i didn't have a bra on they'd be to the floor child the ghetto but um yeah, I'm getting a breast lift with implants, very small implants, because I love my boob size. I just really want my boobs to stay up. And, um, you know, if you just get a breast lift, there is a chance that they'll sag later on. So I just felt like the implants would be a uh, safer, I shouldn't say safer, would be a, a better way to help my results last, essentially. And then I'm getting a tummy tuck, which I really, 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 really don't want to get. Like, I really don't want to get a tummy tuck. But um, my, sur my surgeon recommended it because I do have a lot of loose skin um where my stomach is and um from having a kid and um yeah the only way to get rid of that is to cut the skin so i guess i'll see when i get there he definitely recommends it but i really if there's a way around it i don't want to do it <laughs> like um so i'm gonna see what he say 
and um, I'm getting a BBL with 360 light bulb. So literally like from here to here, I'm gonna be, you know, surgeoned up, you know, <laughs> okay. So I'm like very nervous, but I've been praying a lot, a lot for those of you that believe in God and the Lord, I've been prayed up child. Um, and to be honest, I know that God got control of everything that I do. So I'm really just trusting in him and just keeping a positive mindset because I definitely get anxiety driven. So I'm trying not to let that get the best of me for this crazy situation. And on top of that, like people typically don't support going out of the country. Number one, people don't support surgery in general. People talk junk about it, whatever. Like, I don't care because you're not paying for it. So. But um, people also don't support it if you're going out the country. You know what I'm saying? But I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of research and I really trust my doctor. Like, I don't know about anybody else's doctor. I trust my doctor and I seen results from Miami and everything and to be honest anything can happen anywhere you know what I'm saying so I don't feel like going out the country your risk is heightened I feel like if you don't do your research period your risk is, is heightened whether you're in the country or not <laughs> um so yeah I got these pillows from Amazon it's like it's good for your legs your neck your back um I felt like this would be I'm like I love pillows so I felt like this would be really good for me this is going in my big suitcase. I got um, a boppy pillow for my butt. I do not, do not like those BBL pillows at all. Like I do, not, I will not spend my money buying a BBL pillow. I feel like this is perfect because it hugs your butt. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like stiff. I feel like a BBL pillow. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not with it. So I got my own BBL boppy pillow, whatever. Um, and then I got, which I'm actually gonna, sorry, I'm organizing as I'm talking guys because I'm gonna make sure my stuff is right. So I brought one of my blankets. This is like one of my favorite blankets. And they say you get really cold after the anesthesia and all that type of stuff. So I just wanna make sure that I got a blanket that I like. If you know me, you know I'm like fake OCD. Like just in terms of like germs and stuff, I'm really like, I stay with like so a child. So, um i just being in the recovery house and being on other people's sheets just got me a little nervous but whatever and then this is my poise pads these are literally let's see if i can open it oh here it is okay so these are essentially like big old pads that you could put under your boob you could put it you know under you when you get typo or whatever your underpits it really just depends on where you're draining the leaking from so i got these to make sure to for when i drain i have another pack at my house that i'm leaving here for when i come back um then i got a urinal i felt like i didn't get the, the purple one that the flexible ones that water girls get i don't know why i just felt like this one would be better for me you just put it in your hood hat <laughs> You could get. I feel like this one would be better for me because, um, I don't know. I felt like if I can't get out of bed, God forbid, like, at least I'll be able to pee in here and then put it to the side. <laughs> like, because I, I remember when I was pregnant, when I had my daughter, um, you literally have to pee in the bed. Like, they gave you a, a pan underneath you, really gross. But, and you peed in the bed. And they took it and they wiped you and they took it. So, you know, I'm a punk and I already know how I get down. So, I feel like, you know, that might happen again. So I was like, I'd rather have something that could hold the pee and I could like dump it out. The nurse can bring me the thing, dump it out in case I can't get out of bed. Um, then I went to the dollar store and I got some gauze pads. Um, these are the gauze pads. They were a dollar each. Amazon had it too, but it was just too expensive for me. So I got like three of these gauze pads. Then I got alcohol prep pads, two of these were a dollar. And I got, uh, it's a hundred in a pack. So I got these, these are really important. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here like this. Then I got some body wipes. Um, these are for literally made for on the go and freshening up. I feel like you can use regular baby wipes too. I'm just extra, so I got these. Um, I feel like they were like $15 and they came five in a pack. Um, here is the brand, I think it's called Pippa Mint or Piper Mint. 
Once again, I can link everything below if you guys want to see um, what it is. I'm putting my poppy in here. my compression socks I'm gonna put these in here because I want to try to keep all my cold stuff together I just need to try to be as organized as I can um, then I got these little travel um things I probably won't even need these but I got them so we'll see if I need them I, I do if I don't I don't it is what it is then I got this um lymphatic drainage Lymphatic Support Liquid Drops by Mary Roof. It's supposed to be herbal. It's an herbal supplement. So um, this should be good because it'll help me drain uh, faster. Hopefully, I haven't used any of these products. Well, not any. I haven't used that product. So I can't guarantee it. Once again, more Lysol wipes. You can never go wrong with the Lysol wipes, child. Then I got a pill organizer that honestly I could have got for a dollar at the dollar store because I saw it after. But I got this particular one from Amazon and it was like six or seven dollars it's actually really nice like it's really like it's you know it's really thorough it has the day middle of the day and then they have the night time section so like it's definitely good to keep it organized and i want to make sure i'm organized because i want to be taking my pain medications on the dot i don't want to have to miss any pain meds like i really don't want to feel you know much pain so we're gonna see how that goes um and I got the Ducalax. This is a stool softener. The last time I took this bowl, whew, the ghetto. It was not a pretty sight. So I'm just hoping, good thing I got a private room because, <laughs> ah! I don't know. I just feel weird taking the dump. Somebody was there. It just feels like I'm being watched. But um, I also have this thermometer. I've been had this thermometer from like when Corona started. So. I'm going to keep this as well. And I have um, extra strength Benadryl, um, anti-itching gel. I actually, looking back, should have got more of these. This is small. I feel like it's also probably like the consistency of aloe vera. Um, but I feel like this would be good, you know, in case the light bulb burning comes. And I'm just like, ugh, I've heard that the light bulb burning is really annoying. So I'm going to be bringing that. I bought um, some medication in case I get a yeast infection from the antibiotics they're going to give. So that's really important. Um, I'm trying to organize all this stuff because you know, I bought some Lysol. I don't know if I can bring this on the plane. I think I can. I'm gonna look it up, but I'm bringing Lysol because I'm spraying everything down when I get in that bitch. Like, I'm sorry. Like, nah. And if I can't bring it, I will go over there and find some Lysol. Like, for real. Um, I also got some tape for the gauze. So this would be good to have um, as I am getting better. So here, I have my, I, these are my own personal towels. I do not like using people, other people's towels on my face. Like even when I go to hotels, I'm really finicky about it. Like um, unless it's a really, really nice hotel, I'm very finicky about putting people's towels on my body and stuff. So I put my own towel just in case. Um, have another robe i'm gonna bring it's just that i'm washing it so i'm trying to like do all my laundry before i go i like to have a clean house um this is my robe this is my favorite robe i got it from Nordstrom rack like years ago and i it literally is just my favorite robe like so i'm bringing this robe um so my master lock hella important like i actually got this too so i got this it's like a, it's a like a passport wallet holder so important like as you guys know there's a lot going on well you might not know but there's a lot going on in cali right now and people are getting robbed child and it's, it's just too ghetto for me so i don't want no problems so i literally got this thing you can attach it to yourself that's what i'm gonna do this is where i hold like my money and stuff like that um and 
I can literally put everything in here. My phone, my money, my passport, my ID. It has so many different pockets. And it even has a, um, what's it called? Like a string. I can put it around my neck if I want, you know, the convenience. It's just very, very convenient. And it's good for security. The reason why I got black was because I didn't want anything flashy. I told y'all, like, I'm not bringing any, any of my nice stuff or mediocre nice stuff with me at all. I don't want to give anybody a reason to take anything from me. The only thing I'm bringing is my Mac laptop. That's because it's my laptop. I have to have something to connect with people. But even that, like, I'm not going to tell people I have that. Like, I'm not going to be showing it off because I feel like when you show people what you got, that's when they want to rob your ass. Like, if you don't know what I got, chances are you might not want to rob me, okay? So just, I recommend just something very discreet, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to give anybody a reason to take nothing from you. And I got this master lock. Um, I'm actually going to open it. Oh, shit. This is like official. Um, so it says it's water resistant. I should have got a black one. I got a pink one because I thought it was cute. But once again, you want to get something that's, you know... Ooh, excuse me that draws minimal attention so this is pink i really should have got a black one but whatever um you can set your own combination you can lock it to stuff so nobody can take it out you know you can tie it to the bed or something like that um it has a charging port apparently that's pretty cool um so yeah i'm gonna take out the box to see what it's looking like Ooh. think it was going to be this big and i don't know if i'm the only person that does this but i rarely read the dimensions or stuff so when i get it it's either too small or too big child but um oh this is pretty official okay so i'm assuming that this is the part where you could take take it out this is how it look this is the combination part and i feel like you could um you take this rope off somehow oh okay i got it that child i'm about to be like what so you press this button and it takes this off and you could wrap it around something whatever it could be a wrist it could be whatever like it's actually really big i feel like you could fit a phone and everything in here then the other button i wish i had my phone but here's my remote it's a little bit smaller than my phone but i could fit a remote in here i definitely could fit my phone in here like your passport your money like you definitely want to keep all of that in here this is a little bit too big for this so what i would probably do i probably would transfer my stuff from here to in here and then just lock it um and then use this specifically when i'm out and about this would probably just stay in the recovery house for me i definitely want to make sure that my stuff is secure so i have to look at the instructions of how I could set this, but it looks relatively easy. Like you just set a four digit combination and whatever that combination is, then, you know, that's what you need to open it. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a lot of nervous, but like I said, God is good. So I'm not finna stress about something because I know my surgeon has 21 years of experience. He has no deaths that we know of no complications that we know of because i feel like you trust everything with a grain of salt like you shouldn't trust every single thing a person tell you um but i trust about maybe 80 percent of it so um yeah that's pretty much what i'm packing guys the only thing that i didn't show y'all was like um body wash and stuff my body wash i just ordered hibba cleanse um i'm sure you guys know about that it's like a medical wash so or antibacterial wash rather I order HIPAA cleanse and then I'm gonna use that to wash up. As soon as I get to Columbia, I'm using that to wash up. I'm not using any regular soap because I felt like the more I use it, the better, the cleaner my skin will be and it'll be less chance of an infection. So yeah, if you guys want me to um, make the Amazon list public for my surgery list, um, just make sure you leave a comment below. God willing, everything goes fine with my surgery. I'll be able to upload this. I'm gonna be uploading this after my surgery so like, um by the time you see this 
I should be fine. Um, but still, send me well wishes. Um, because it's really a scary thing to go through, even if it's elective. It's still surgery. So, um, if you know somebody going through surgery, just make sure you're there for them. And, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're excited to see my vlog, make sure you leave a comment down below. And I will get back to you. Bye.